a layer of carbon one million times thinner than a sheet of paper can stop a bullet. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net, and we need to look at this. According to a paper published in the journal Nature, a team of scientists from City of University New York's Advanced Science Research Center have found a way to stop a bullet with only two layers of graphite. That is impressive. The new material they developed is called diamine because when this material is struck by a projectile, like a bullet, it temporarily becomes as hard as a diamond. That's pretty amazing. They accomplish this feat by stacking two layers of graphene together, one on top of the other. An odd thing about this is it doesn't work with three layers, it doesn't work with four layers, it doesn't work with one layer. You need precisely two layers of graphene for this action to happen. According to Eliza Rido, previously when we tested graphite or a single atomic layer of graphene, we would apply pressure and feel a very soft film. But when the graphite film was exactly two layers thick, all of a sudden we realized that the material under pressure was becoming extremely hard stuff, or stiffer than bulk diamond. It's starting to seem to me like graphene might be the wonder material. Not only can it carry electricity, it dissipates heat very well, and it also dissipates momentum. And that's why they keep talking about how this can be used as a bulletproof vest. It has such a good ability to dissipate the force from the impact that it should be able to even reduce the pain of getting shot. You have to think, there's a lot of energy when you get hit by a bullet. If this could just blow that energy out and around, you end up with a pretty painless bulletproof fence. The uses for this are a lot bigger than just armor. I don't want to sound like a warmonger. That's the one that we come to mind with because they're hitting with a projectile. And don't get me wrong, it would be pretty cool to have bulletproof umbrellas like they had in Kings. But think of the other benefits. It's nearly invisible. So you could say, maybe coat windows with it so they don't shatter. Or maybe you could design a thin protective layer to put over objects to keep them from being damaged. Stopping things like hail damage to vehicles, or maybe some protective gear that can help you in case of a fall. And if we take it to space, maybe this will be the answer to stop micrometeors from smashing through our shuttles and space station. And I mean, heck, use your mind. What can you think of that this would help with? Let me know in the comments down below. This is going to be my last news episode of 2017. I do have a couple wrap-up videos planned for next week, so I hope you stop back and check those out. To everyone who's celebrating, happy holidays. And you know what, if you enjoyed this episode, a great present would be to like, share, and subscribe. It really helped my channel grow. I hope to see you here again in the new year. So until next time, have fun and be safe.